He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yeah. Now you got one round. <gasps> knock the fucker on his ass. <laughs> knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid!
What a challenge for Andre Bishop as round one is underway. Nobody over the course of the past nine years has been able to conquer Joel Savone. The Cuban has now been a nine-time champion of these World Amateur Games. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Savone's nose is now starting to bleed. Teddy, through the history of the sport, this is one of the matchups that has produced some of the more interesting fights, especially in the lower weight class, speed versus speed. Who's going to be the guy that uses speed better? Who's going to be able to time shots and control range? That's what I'm looking at. Good smooth work by Andre Bishop. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. He'd like to see more of that. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Parries that punch intended for the head. Savone's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Little head hunting with the left. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Carissi's game plan being executed perfectly by Andre Bishop in that last round. He has a lot of momentum. Yeah, now when he gets back to the corner, of course, Gus only has to tell him, keep doing what you're doing. But a guy like Gus, here remind him, hey, it starts with the jab, always fundamentals. Okay, take a deep breath. Nice work. Now let's double up that jab. I want to see two jabs, Trey. Okay. Okay. Don't fight, no. fight. Jab and move. Keep it up, just like that. Get that. Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, the nine-time gold medalist Joel Savone has not been in a position like this often. Andre Bishop has built up a big lead. Forceful jab by Andre Bishop. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Savone's left working well that time. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Let's do some more head moves. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. A crushing blow up top. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Right to the head with that right. Head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. The combo lands upstairs. To the head he goes with a left hand. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Scores up top with a left. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Bishop nice. staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. And that's the end of round two. You gotta move your hands in there. Let's go.
please. I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, carry it away. And round number three is underway. So early on here, you can already see that Andre Bishop looks like a much fresher fighter after taking a break after the last round. I really like what Andre Bishop is doing here. He's scoring well against the veteran Savone. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Savone's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. He needs to adjust a little further out. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Up top with the right hand. Savone's left now getting into the mix. There he goes with the right hand again. Joel Savone's left landing well. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any one punch, it's going to be that big hook. Well, hit the target that time. Lands the counter. Resourceful one-two combo by Andre Bishop. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop. And here he's putting it to good use. Dismisses his opponent's oh, headshot. Put your hands up. Yet another right hand lands. It has been a very consistent night by Andre Bishop. He has built up a lead on the scorecards and nothing but good praise coming from trainer Gus Carissi. And he has such a cushion. Don't be shocked. It happens in this business, believe me. If his trainer doesn't tell him, you know what? Work with him a little bit. Don't get careless, but work on things. Carry him a little bit. Get some rounds. Final round here of what has been a night where Andre Bishop has been in total command of his opponents. You just don't want to slip on a banana peel now, or on a right hand. Joel Savone was a substantial favorite here against the young upstart Andre Bishop, but Bishop is in control and headed to victory. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now, I don't like the way he looks in terms of his conditioning. It right, looks like he's slowing down a little bit. And you gotta wonder if it's a little mental too. You got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. See, he's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head. Good exchange, he fires back. Piercing jab. That right hand over the top, Lance Flush. Savone showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in. Big shot. He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young brothers out. It is raining punches here. Savone's still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. See 
what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. Uh, most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Well, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games. Yeah, baby! It's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby! Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby bishop. I'm a fighter, too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, bishop brothers are in the house. Big baby bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions. Is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. 
Thanks, Meg. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Meg. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We have a big card for you tonight, and a lot of people excited about what we're going to bring you in moments on our undercard. It is the pro debut of the middleweight, Andre Bishop. He will be going up against the KG veteran, Lucius Palmer, from here at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Stay with us for that. Everybody in this arena has been looking forward to this moment. The opening moments of Andre Bishop's pro career. So much hype, so many expectations. Stands opposite Lucius Palmer right now. Of course, all that hype built on the foundation of a gold medal at the World Amateur Games. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Brings the hook that time. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Good combination to the head. Teddy, in your training career, when you've gone up against a power puncher like we have in the ring tonight, do you prefer to have a fighter like this opposite him, a guy that'll fight on the outside? Yeah, I want a guy that's a little bit scared. He's got a darn good reason to be scared. If he's not, he's going to get knocked out. Stay away from that power. Halfway through round number one. Nice work with the overhand right. Good block. A headshot blocked. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Oh, good-looking two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. So much anticipation for the pro debut of the young American, Andre Bishop, here tonight facing Lucius Palmer. Through one round, Teddy, has anything revealed itself? His hand speed. He's very fast in there. I think he has to settle down a little bit, though, as the rounds go on. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. There's another left hand from him. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. You can actually see how heavy Bishop is breathing right now. He's desperate to get some air into his lungs. He better close that mouth before he's desperate to get his jaw wide. Palmer's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? That's no, right, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Get, get That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Bishop's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Come on, 
And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. A piercing hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Scores with the combo to the head. Oh! He was just bulldozed right there. One punch knockout power ends this fight. Good solid end to this fight. Bishop's back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios. I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran. He's no joke. And Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. Sort of kid. I don't believe in building a record fight in no books. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm gonna help you get there. I'm gonna take some fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm gonna be impressed. But if you can at least put them on the canvas, I'm gonna be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. For the official introductions, we send it up to the ring. A clean, crisp right hand by Andre Bishop. Mike Walker's feeling the effects now of that hook. When you have a lot of speed. Mike Walker's crushed by him. And bang, and away he goes. Unable to survive that shot. He's on the floor. showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Andre Bishop. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. There's a straight right hand. Turns over that hook upstairs. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. Oh, what a hook upstairs. 
Walker's absorbing a hook. Doubles up the jab to the head. And he just turns that hook. Solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Enjoyed watching the professional development of the young unbeaten Andre Bishop, Teddy. You know, the one thing I wonder when we watch a guy like Bishop in early on in his career like this is, does he just have to win or does he constantly have to look impressive doing it? Well, like Al Davis said, the Oakland Raiders just win, baby. But if you want to be on television, if you want people to actually buy tickets to come and see you, in other words, you want to make a lot of money, you win and you better win excitingly. Bishop's got to find a way to survive and maybe even do more than that. He was knocked down in the last round. And here, you know, all eyes are on his status here to start this round. Well, Joe, don't put too much on his plate in this kind of situation. Right now, surviving would be enough. He can worry about winning later on. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Good clean shot, returning fire, well done by Andre Bishop. That's a good sharp hook by Walker. He got hit, oh now the uppercut. Combo lands to the head. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. A well-placed left hand up top. Good doubling up of the jab by Walker. A battering hook by Andre Bishop. Walker's in that position that nobody likes to be in. Seeing your own blood and knowing you've been cut. Look at his mouth. Bishop could really use a pit stop here. He needs to refuel. Yeah, he needs to tie up a little bit. And what a clever combination by Andre Bishop. Nice work, the left hand to the head. On the receiving end, big shot there. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. down from a big shot now he's got to have some big guts to move along you're going to find out exactly what he's made of that was nice he just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by walker yeah like running through the rain without getting wet beautiful and we come to the end of round number two don't stand in front of me don't look for just big punches okay use your speed double up the punches i want to see combos Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Finish with the hook. Very nice. Mike Walker stunned and staggered. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Moment. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this.
was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that jam going. Ladies and gentlemen, at two and zero, the young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has hours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career three and zero as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. And he's up on across the ring. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Rosario is very conscious of the fact that this is a golden opportunity in front of him. He knows he's a clear-cut underdog. He also knows what a win will do. A win will get him a step closer to what he's dreamed about since he was a little kid first putting those gloves on. The big paydays, maybe the nice house. Blocks the headshot. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Rosario stumbled back. He just, big, big shot he just scored with. Wow, crushing blow upstairs. Rosario's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. A stabbing right hand by Andre Bishop. Teddy, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last long. But what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Rosario's got to be really careful here. That eye is an absolute mess. The cut is really bad. In fact, it could call for an end to this fight at any point. Well, Joe, the key is where the cut is. It's above the eye, and that means that the flow will go into the eye and, of course, impair the vision. That is what the referee's going to be looking at. Comes across with a hook up top. Andre Bishop's trainer, Gus Carisi, was quite open this week in saying, hey, I want to see excitement out of my fighter. I want him to deliver something to the fans. Yeah, he's thinking the same way my mentor, Customato, used to think. That's why he invented the pick boo style. You know, it was effective. You kept your hands up, your elbows in. But it was also exciting. It would elicit excitement from the crowd. And that's what he wanted. To make sure that he created somebody that wanted people to come see him. Rosario's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcome it before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? Goes up top with a right hand. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the look. That's a huge left he just scored. Wow! Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Ooh. 
Hand. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's <laughs> that all? <laughs> You don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. Then I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes is entitled to his own opinion, isn't he? We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall for the East Coast debut of the young upstart Andre Bishop. Tonight, the 3-0 middleweight will be taking on the hard-hitting Keyshawn Hayes. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Glad you're with us. Bishop. His adversary by win, Keyshawn Hayes. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Let's move! Teddy, it seems very simple. I mean, we're watching a guy here that moves his head, and it seems very simple that, hey, don't get hit. Get out of the way of a punch is the easiest way to defend yourself. But can you get caught up in that when you have good head movement of thinking that's the only way to go? Yeah, you know, that's a good point. You can become like a basketball player who's a really good dribbler. You forget to shoot the darn ball. You make a miss, you better make them pay. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said, to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Good right hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Halfway through this round here, Bishop's putting forth a great combination there. Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one-two. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down for the first time. Bishop gets up on his feet. Right now, what he has to do is he has to kill a little bit of time. He's got to move his head. He's got to be defensive-minded, clear those cobwebs a little bit, 
then think about winning the round later. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Hayes is getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. Andre Bishop, unbeaten in his emerging career, but now a bit of a challenge. In that first round, Keyshawn Hayes able to land that left hook. Well, we know he looks like a fighter. We've seen that already. We've seen that throughout his amateur career. Now we're about to find out if he can behave like a fighter. This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that. Andre Bishop's doing a good job of being strong on his feet right now. He was rocked in that last round, but his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage standing opposite him. Andre Bishop unable to get out of the way of that big hook by Hayes. Combination to the head. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Hayes is nailed by a huge hook. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. What an excellent two-punch combo by him. Hayes is snapped by a right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing it. Oh, and there you go. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five. Hayes is back up on his feet. Now what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Jab followed by the straight by Andre Bishop. Blocks away that headshot. Lands a big hook. Let's see if Bishop can survive this. He just took a big shot. I think he can survive it. Why? Because he has all that amateur experience. He's been in this position for four. Let it go. Right back at him with a left hand. Watch nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. And we come to the end of the round. Good job. Hey, coach, with your hands down. Come on now, keep them hands up. Keep them up. Hayes has got to rely on his corner now to do what it takes to come get on, him back on. physically and mentally. It's always a challenge when you've hit the ground. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss, make him pay. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. up to his feet after being knocked down. Now he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Wow! Ruin! 
second in one instance. Just done. Fight over. Hayes' evening ends early. A knockout victim here. He was just not able to get back up. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly.